All right, shocking miracles of the Quran part 12. So the word Haman actually appears in the Bible and in the Quran, okay? Okay, here's where it gets so crazy. In the Bible, Haman is known as the assistant to the king in Persia, okay? But in the Quran, Haman is known to be in Egypt at the time of the pharaohs and he was doing something related to construction. A lot of people think that the Quran copied the Bible since it came after it, right? And since it's the exact same name, then it was just a copying mistake. That's what they think. By the way, chapter 28, verse 38 is where it clearly says the Pharaoh talking to someone named Haman and he's doing something related to construction, okay? Today, through hieroglyphics, okay? Through hilo... I can't be making this up. It tells us that there's a man named Haman and he's chief of the stone-carrying workers. People today found that out. They, today, today we figured this out. How can an illiterate man 1400 years ago know about Haman in Egypt? How? Something that's all-knowing must have given him this information. It's too perfect.